On Friday, August 23rd, 2013, I was called up on stage out of an audience of thousands at the Hollywood Bowl to sing the song For Good from the musical Wicked with my musical theater idol. Who can say if I'm changed for the better? She was calling up a voice teacher. People thought that the song was staged because it went over so well. But truly, I was a random, spontaneous choice. She simply walked out onto the passerelle, asked who knew the song, and I volunteered. I wasn't even supposed to be sitting that close to the stage. You're sitting right about where I was then. <laughs> when I arrived at the Hollywood Bowl, I actually had tickets for the nosebleed section, way up at the top. But my father, as soon as we got to the bowl, he surprised my family and a friend of mine with boxed seat tickets. Whew. I got to live every musician's dream. It was better than Christmas. This just doesn't happen to people, especially not me. It's as if I saved up all the luck in my life thus far for this one moment. <laughs> this moment, captured by a friend on his iPhone, went viral on YouTube. None of this should have worked, because this was my plan. Three-step plan on how to become famous on YouTube. <laughs> Number one, get the cheapest seats possible at the largest venue in LA. Number two, eat half a block of brie at intermission. <laughs> For those non-singers, cheese is a very, very bad thing to eat before you sing. And number three, be sure your friend with an iPhone fills up his phone with videos of act one from said concert, so it will take an act of God to film anything else. <laughs> there were a miraculous seven seconds of memory left on his phone after the song finished. There are so many reasons that moment at the Hollywood Bowl and the resulting media storm that followed shouldn't have happened. And one reason as to why it did, I was ready. And everyone was shocked. <laughs> was everyone so shocked that a voice teacher could sing? I hope not. <laughs> I think everyone was shocked that some random girl came out of nowhere and was ready. A teacher of mine, Dr. Gary Bonner, former dean of the School of Music at Riverside's own California Baptist University, said something years ago that I didn't fully understand until I lived it out. Years of discipline for a moment of freedom. This was my moment of freedom. That moment of preparedness at the Hollywood Bowl was years in the making. Preparation is a journey, a struggle, let's face it. 
Here's what you don't see on the video. You don't see me in weekly voice lessons since the age of eight. You don't see me practicing every day, constantly looking for new challenges to better myself and my craft. You don't see me singing for good a hundred times in my bedroom as a high schooler, switching between the parts of Glinda and Alphaba and learning who sings which harmony. You don't see me singing when I'm sick and flummy to practice sounding clear when I can barely talk. When Kristen called me up onto the stage, I had no warning. I didn't even know she did this at her concerts, calling up a random audience member to sing with her, much less this specific song. Why would she take such a risk? But I was ready. All the years of musical devotion, struggles, and successes <laughs> led up to this pivotal moment at the Hollywood Bowl that Friday night. The video my friend took got over a million hits in 24 hours. Now it's well more than tripled that, in addition to a slew of other videos posted by other attendees at the bowl. During my introduction, you learned that I am a teacher. I have taught as an adjunct professor of vocal studies at Riverside's own California Baptist University, <laughs> as well as a music director of children with Riverside Youth Theater. The moment that I will never forget as a teacher is this. I walked into my theater classroom that Monday and got a standing ovation from my kids. <laughs> I got reports from parents that their kids were practicing more, really pouring themselves into it, some for the first time. This is why I do what I do. Doors of opportunity have burst open since the Hollywood Bowl. Two weeks after singing with Kristen, the Hollywood Bowl called me back and asked me to host an MC an event. And my name was on the marquee. <sighs> since then, I have been blessed to sing with multiple symphonies from Los Angeles to Salt Lake City. My most recent concert series was titled, This Is What I Do. After the first concert, I heard a story from a friend of a friend of a woman that I have never met that came to the concert and was deeply moved by it. This woman had been struggling with depression since the death of her husband and was walking around with a smile on her face the next day, clutching onto my program. This is why I do what I do. My goal as both a teacher and as a vocalist, is to inspire people. I think that's at the heart of every true artist. Art is about making people feel something and walk away changed in some way. It takes years of discipline to get to the point that you're ready. Even if you don't live and work in an artistic endeavor, you too can inspire someone by being ready. Be ready. Be inspired. That's what makes a person inspiring. Pour yourself into your passion, into your community, and people will catch that inspiration from you and work to be ready when it's their turn. If you're not ready, your turn will never come. Moral of the story, be ready.